You know what? We've been on the road so long, we just need to do some graffiti and just let it all out with some spray paint. Let's do this. You ready? I'm ready. Hands up. Boop. Isn't this wild, man? Look, it's just flat as far as the eye can see, and then boom, a bunch of Cadillacs. And you've never been here before. Never. Oh, man. I've driven past it many times, but here we are. Let's get to work. You got the cheap I got that cap that you're gonna have to. What are you doing? There it is, perfect. <laughs> Nailed Let's it. Let's go. I guess. Oh, that one's cool. I don't want to mess that up. Did you make that whole face? Yeah, doesn't that look great? That looks amazing. <laughs> What do you think? That looks awesome, man. Can you see it? Yeah. Awesome. Boom. <laughs> it's crazy to see what paint and the weather like, has done to the tires yeah. and everything else. Like it's. I mean, that's like layers thick. You can feel it. it's like squishy. Yeah. That's crazy. It may have just been one crazy guy that dug 10 Cadillacs into the dirt on the side of the interstate, but today was a real smile maker. I had a great time. Me too. Let's get back in the cars, it's cold. Let's roll. It's incredible to see all the windmills out here. And seeing this many in one area is crazy. It just seems like they go on for miles and miles. So smart. But downtown here in McLean has a really cool brick paved street. Got the old water tower right there. I mean, this is out in the country of Texas. McLean, Texas is home to the oldest gas station in Texas. It was originally built and operated in 1929, and it operated for over 50 years before it shut down, and it was recently renovated by a Route 66 organization that's trying to bring back the route and show you Americana in the best way possible. And you really get that sense of this is how big it was. It was two pumps, they had their oil in the middle. There's no way you could get a person to drive up on something like that now, but in the 50s, yeah, it, 30s, whatever, like it was absolutely cool. But you know, Route 66, everywhere you look, there's just so much character. But we wouldn't be here doing a cross country road trip without this road. Absolutely. It's so cool. Now I know it's sad to say, but we're almost done. We got one stop left today on our Route 66 kind of adventures, cruising the continental US. Where are we going next? We're going to Weatherford, Oklahoma to check out the Stafford Air and Space Museum. I've been looking forward to this since we came up with the idea and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's roll. What a fun trip this has been. Hey, I'm wondering what was your favorite thing you got to see on this trip? Honestly, I was just thinking to myself how much I enjoyed getting to show you a little bit of my world on the driving stuff and how we were able to talk on the radio during the hot laps in the BMW M4s. It was so fun to see Tony Stewart, Renly and Pruitt, that was awesome. Getting to see Lake Havasu was really cool. Running into our fans, seeing people on the road that never heard of us before and now they're following us on Instagram and Twitter, that's so cool. Seeing the painted desert may have been the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It just it was stunning, the way the light hit it, everything about it. So getting out here on the road, spending a lot of time on Route 66, it really solidified for me my love for road trips, for cross country adventure, and for just seeing this country for what it really is. I can't lie, I am bummed we did not make it in to the meteor crater. I mean, go figure, something that happened, rock fell from space, thousands and thousands of years ago, they close at five. So I'll, I'll remember that for my next trip. Well, we made it to the Thomas P. Stafford Air and Space Museum. This is so cool. I mean, there is so much history in this one spot. The planes that you see, you gotta come stop, take a look inside there. Well, that's it though. It's the last stop for us. I had so much fun on this trip, man. I did too. So I did too. next time you come up with a cross country trip, mm -hmm. Hopefully it's not during a pandemic. Right. Hopefully it's maybe a little warmer out. That would be great. And I would take everything else and make it the same. I'm in, let's do it. Thanks for coming along for the ride with us. I hope you had a good time. From Ryan Eversley, myself, our friends at Continental, thanks for watching. See you next time. To see all of our road trip, go to cruisingthecontinentalus.com.